Researchers from the Institute of Neuroscience, Chinese Academy of Sciences, have recently completed a study that reveals an asymmetrical visual pathway to the left dorsal habenular and its function in mediating at preference behavior. This study was done by a zebrafish lab located at the seventh floor of this biological research building. Hi, my name is Julian Du. I am a senior investigator at the Institute of Neuroscience. In my lab, using Nava Zebrafish model, we may study the synaptic and neurosophic mechanism of visual processing and behaviors. In this story, we focus on a nuclear called Habanula. Habanula is an evolutionary conserved from canals human beings and is an emotion control cell. So in integration, it puts many from the limbic system and basal ganglion. The Habanula plays critical roles in controlling anxiety, fear, reward, depression. However, it also receives inputs from multiple sensory pathways. The function and underlying neural circuit of these sensory inputs remain unknown. In this study, we used the Nava zebrafish and found the left dorsal hypanemia mediates night preference behavior by receiving visual inputs from the specific subset of retinal ganglion cells through so in initial setting. Our study extends the spectrum of hypanemia functions to night preference behavior and suggests that hypanemia may act as a node for crosstalk between sensory and emotional systems in the brain. Hi, my name is Bai Bing Zhang. I'm a graduate student from Dr. Julian Du's lab, as well as the first author of this study. Hi, my name is He Fei Zhang. I'm a postdoc of Julian Du's lab, as well as the second author of this project. At the beginning of our study, we explored the light preference behavior in zebrafish larvae. Light preference behavior is an evolutionarily conserved innate behavior that is found throughout the animal kingdom. Zebrafish larvae show robust light preference behavior, and it depends on the visual input from the eyes. So when we remove by retinal eyes or silencing retinal ganglion cells function, larva preference were markedly impaired. Interestingly, when we did lesion or dysfunction of the left dorsal abanual, it's severely impaired retinal input dependent light preference behavior. While, on the contrary, optogenetic activation of the left dorsal abanual neurons recaptured the preference in both eyes removed larvae. So, this result suggested that the left dorsal abanual are crucial for the light preference behavior. Then we wondered why the habanular could mediate the light preference behavior. To answer this question, we performed in neural casting imagery and host a recording of habanular, and found that visually responsive habanular neurons preferentially located in the left of those habanular, and their sustained activities and the firing frequencies included the presence and intensity of ambient light respectively. So we think, maybe if through these two encoding strategies, the left dose hypernumber could ongoing sense the contextual brightness, a premise of mediating light preference behavior. Next, we ask it how visual information is related to the left dose hypernumber. To explore the visual inputs of hypernumber, we combined morphological tracing and functional assays and found that the left dose habanual neurons receives excitatory monosynaptic inputs from the aminacular cellulose, so-called EMT. And EMT neurons are contacted mainly by the retinal ganglion cells, the RGCs, at the ablation field for the AF4 of retinal recipient brain areas. And consistently, the function of the EMT impaired light preference behavior, suggesting the RGC EMT left dorsal habanual pathway mediates the light preference behavior. So finally, we did careful examination of this pathway to find out the origin of its asymmetry. Combined morphologic tracing and neurohose recording, we found that the majority of AL4 projecting RGCs located in the ventral retina and were sustained on type cells. 
EMT received visual input from contractual RGCs and exhibits sustained and symmetrical visual responses. However, bilateral EMT preferentially innovated the left dose of venule but not the right venule, leading to the asymmetrical visual responses that dominant in the left dose of venule. So, to conclude, our study showed that a subset of sustained firing RGCs project to contractual EMT through the AF4 region, transmitting the ambient illuminance information to the EMT. And then bilateral EMT preferentially innovated the left dorsal habanula, relaying the illuminance information asymmetrically to the left dorsal habanula to trigger the light preference behavior. Thus, our study reveals a normal function of habanula and elucidates the neural circuit mechanism of light preference behavior.